Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the first edition of the Cape Town Spurs TV. Uh, today, we started on the bank with both coaches, and we're putting them right on the spot. We want them to talk to us about what is really happening here at Tikamfa. Welcome, Coach Ian. Thank you. Welcome, Coach Nathan. Thanks. I'm going to put you on the spot today, but I'm going to start with you, Coach Ian. Right in the middle of the season, you were tasked with turning things around at uh, Cape Town Spurs. What has been your biggest challenge thus far? Uh, it's a number of things. Obviously, COVID and the season being different, but that's for everyone. So, you know, the fixtures came thick and fast. Um, and I think in the beginning of the season, just the way the club went about things in terms of uh, pre-season, the players we signed, um, it was a big, bigger challenge, I think trying to get those the squad up to to where we wanted to be. Um, but also the fact that um, you know uh, that was that was always going to be the biggest challenge in terms of you know, what sort of squad can we build to progress or get in that process of building for the season and also the fitness levels. You know, a lot of the players that we did sign haven't played in, in in uh, a few months, which was also a big challenge for us, but we also got to understand that, that this club is is very much in a rebuilding process, and um, you know, that that's going to be our, our, our biggest challenge this season is is starting that process and and keep believing that we're on this road that we can uh, end with with a goal um, that we set ourselves and. Um, I think we're very much on, on that process. While we're in the process of, 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 of building uh, the season, uh, Coach Ian, can you talk to us uh, in the latest mixed results? Obviously, um, having been coming your way, what would, do you think would be the contributing factor in the you know mixed results that we've been getting? Well, like I said before, the balance uh, of the squad, um, trying to sign players in key positions, I think we very weak in the midfield in terms of of fitness in terms of the type of players that we would like, in terms of the type of players we always had at this club, you know, contributing towards the way we want to play. I think it's important. We want to play in a certain way. We want to play winning, attractive football. But you need uh, your engine room needs to be um, needs to be very good, and you need a particular kind of players in that position. Not to say that we don't, but uh, a lot of those players that have come in are not. In terms of match fitness, not up there. Yeah, environment in terms of the how many, you know, getting getting that up to up to up to a scratch, you know, uh, in ter terms of our culture, you know, because as 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 a coach has as I mentioned, it's a rebuilding phase, and we and we have to be honest about that, you know, uh, we were not where we were last season or the season before or the season before that, you know, in terms of in terms of our squad and. And process, you know, and that's important that we that we, you know, are mindful of that. Um, that's and that's and that's why you know I stress the importance of of you know ensuring that there's a you know a professional environment and intensity at training, you know, to watch it push push these these players as much as we can, you know, because. You don't, you don't, you don't have those those the same players that that you had last season or the season before. Coach Ian appointed you to be his assistant. He actually chose you to be his assistant. To be specific, what attracted you to the job? Oh, look, I think it's for me. It was a a case of of having been here since since uh, you know a junior. You know the, the first. Academy back back when we were still Ajax, you know, and then obviously I suppose you know being an attractive brand in terms of in terms of history, you know, I watched I watched the Spurs as a, a youngster, but to to a present day, you know, coach coach Ian and and, and, and I, I spoke a lot about you know what, what what needs to be done here, how we can do it, how we can effect effect a change here. It's a process, it's a challenge, uh, but if you you would know how I. I was as a player. I embrace the challenge, you know, and and this is this is what excites me, you know, about 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 this 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 this, this season. It's a tough one, 
So it's a challenging one, but you know, we we on a process. You know, it might not uh, look like you know like, like it at times because we was win one, draw one, uh, lose one, but we were still on a good 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 way. Um, so yeah, I accepted it, um, and, and yeah, I'm enjoying it. That's that's, that's uh, for you know many obstacles, but that's how you how you grow. Yeah, so yeah. On paper, we have a big squad, but it's a selection of young and senior players. So the process of selection, how much headaches are you having right now in putting a team together for the next game? No, I think it's, for me, it's all about players who are, who are in the best form. So playing the players that are on top of the game, uh, doing the right things that we ask in terms of our way of play our football philosophy um, and players that first of all have the right attitude, the right application and do it with a lot of effort and of course those players will, will start first and that's been the, the challenge for them because we knew coaches, we wanted to, we've done it a lot differently to, to other coaches probably but we demand first of all a good attitude, we demand that they apply themselves in those moments of the games in terms of uh, what we require from them, and then they, they, they need to take a lot of responsibility and a lot of accountability in those situations. And those are the ones that are going to give us the, the required uh, result, but also the performance. And I think the performance is the most important factor. Mm. Yeah, I uh, well, agree with that. And yeah, I mean, for what it means, it's, it's I'm, I'm a lot on a lot on attitude. You know, and uh, how you, you know, apply your yourself. You know, because eventually the what team, the team, the team should pick itself if if everyone is uh, flying. Um, you know, so, but that's again a process. Um, you know, and and we are still on that. You know, so those 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 players that uh, work hardest. You know, that apply them themselves every single day. Uh, you know, as you can as you can see, we haven't been been. Um, uh, great from a, um, a defensive view, you know, and that's 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 attitude, you know. So yeah, we need to we need to improve in that, you know, and that's and that's how you apply your yourself at um, at training, you know, and, and how uncomfortable uh, you want to you want to get as a pro, you know, and if you can do that, um, you know, the, uh, um, acceptably and well to to us, then then you have a you have a chance to 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 play. Because you know we are a football playing team. I think everybody knows that. You know, so it's you know, a nice thing to also play when we have the ball. But when we don't have the, the ball, we also looking for for for, for guys um, who want to man up you know, and be there you know, and work and work and work hard. And that's how we pick the team. Yeah. Well, talking about this big squad and the team selection. Now talk about the Colchester's features. You play every three games. And um, you don't have enough time to break. And you, you spoke about having players that are inexperienced and a little bit of players that are experienced. How are you guys coping with the congestion of fixtures? Yeah, I think you know, again, um, I speak about the environment. I think it's it's our our, our uh, duty to enforce that and, and and you know ensure that there's an environment that. Empowers players to be to be good 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 uh, pros, you know, because obviously we have we have short 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 uh, time between between our games. So how you approach this as an individual athlete, as a footballer, is important. You know, you don't you don't you don't have a week to watch it go to go home and you know fool around or do do whatever. You need to move on to the next game. You know, but it's it's up to it's up to us to ensure that uh, players understand that. And take the the, the the jobs in um, a serious way, uh, and that's and that's again it's been a, a process because it's been a shift, you know. Because I've been at this, at this, at this club for for years, mm -hmm. you know, and and, I, and I've seen in that regard the, the culture and the environment as has, has, has slipped a bit, you know. And we are trying to bring that back, and that's ne never comfortable a process, you know. So. Um, that that quick, uh, um, you know, turn around and has yeah. to be enforced on players how they how they look after themselves how they um, you know address 
um, you know, the, uh, sleeping, eating, etc. You know, and then we have to uh, squeeze as, as as much out of them as we can, you know, and get that that, uh, that balance and, and harmony still in a positive way. We're actually halfway through the season, and uh, Cape Town Spurs find themselves still 15th on the note. Uh, the point difference between the teams ahead of you is not that much. Uh, but bottom line, we know the demands of the second round of the season. So how do you guys plan to change things around and uh, and, and, and make the step up the ladder? Yeah, we've, we've, yeah, we've definitely battled with the consistency and that's been obviously our biggest challenge. And, uh, you know, we're on it every day. You know, you've got to be consistent from Monday to Friday in order to deliver on a Saturday. And that's been a challenge for the players because, you know, against the better teams, we've gotten good results because they're motivated and and they want to show what they have in terms of the individual and a team. But, you know, that you, you can't pick your games. You've got you to be consistent. And that's what Nathan was talking about, being a pro. You know, uh, that's the hurdle that they've got to get over. And, and it's, not, it's not that we're not preaching it every day. This is the process that they're on. Yeah. And I think as soon as they understand um, that you need to prepare, you need to apply yourself and have, for me, the biggest challenge for them is have the right attitude every day. Um, that will, it will come, no doubt. Was something that I didn't want to focus on, but obviously I'm forced to because it's coming now. It's a net bank cup. I know priority it's league. Net bank cup. So how do you switch on now? What's the plan? No, I think you just you just approach it like any other game, and it's it starts in training, you know, and that's and that's been our focus, you know, because it's been a very congested season, you know, you can't look ahead, you know, you need to you need to you need to be mindful of the fact that how you approach every day will most probably help you in a huge way towards towards the game, you know, it's an exciting, it's you know, especially for the young players too, because it's a cup game, you will get, get to show your your self, but we. Are trying to instill that across every single game. You know, don't 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 uh, choose. Don't don't choose where when you are want to turn turn it, turn it on. You know, you know, try to bring it every single day in training because it's habits. You know, that's and that's that's been you know an obstacle for you know certain certain players. You know, uh, young 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 guys. You know, because they excited about the cup game and it's you know sometimes it's on the TV. You know, and so it's you can tell your family and stuff. But as a as a, a pro player, you have to you know accept that every day you are here, you get you get you get judged. You know, not when you're just playing a a, a cup game. So our approach will be the, the same. You know, go, go out there, you know, and work hard when we when we don't have the ball. I work hard for each other when we have the ball. You know, show you your your uh, self. Um, yeah. With Netbank Cup out of the way on Friday, you have for the very first time seven days to prepare for your next big game. What are you planning to do that whole seven days leading up to your next fixture against Dinder? Well, the normal process which we <laughs> which we'd like to do, which is not normal because of the, the fixture congestion, but basically you know, your post match training session, working on, always looking at potential improvement points. What are we doing wrong? Why are we conceding so much goals? Working on those aspects. And then, of course, later then we always work on strategy. We look at the opposition, we look how they're playing, what are their strengths, you know, where are their, their, their threats, where are their weaknesses. And, um, you know, we prepare accordingly to that, obviously, with the main purpose of, of us, who we are, how we want to play, and how we can find solutions on the pitch. And empower the players to to see, that recognize those solutions, and and and, and prepare them in, in that way where they can go and, and 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 take ownership and responsibility and get the result. Yeah, you had it from both coaches here, Coach Ian Taylor and Coach Nathan Pulser. It's gonna be a stormy season ahead. I wish them firstly a good luck for that net bank cup last sixteen. Obviously, the team will make it to the last eight. And I also wish them the best of luck for what will be a gruesome season ahead. That's a, <laughs> a gruesome positive season. Sure. <laughs> 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 I'm you in the frying pan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. St- storm is, yeah. Storm was, yeah. Uh, some sunshine towards the, towards the you know, latter part of the week. Yeah.